Leonard Bookman, um, I'm the founder and CTO over here at Greylock. Um, Greylock is a free and open log management system. So that means that um, we have a software that you uh, deploy yourself. That was, we're going to talk more about Greylock Cloud in a moment. Um, but historically, you've always deployed it yourself. Um, you ran it yourself and you could send it all of your logs across your volume. Our logs, your Windows logs, your Linux logs, really anything that generates logs, either in your environment, in your cloud environment, even on your endpoints, and point those at a Greylock server, and then the Greylock server would, would go in and uh, process these, parse them, enrich them, uh, just to add some more value to them and make it possible to search them properly. Um, and um, then you have a web interface where you can search, filter, or uh, basically just get a lot of value out of your, um, of your logs that you probably already have. Um, Greylock allows you to centralize those and just get way more value out. We've seen over the, the, the last months and, and years, actually, uh, we've seen that more and more people are interested in running something like Greylock in the cloud. Um, and that specifically means you can already run very in the cloud, but you've got to run it yourself. They were specifically looking for a uh, cloud service, so something they can sign up to. They get a web interface, they get their forwarder, they get everything they need, and they don't have to care about it. running it, maintaining it, scaling it, um, all of those things. So um, that's why we, uh, last year, we decided that we would go and we would launch Great Um And it's basically a uh, fully managed um, Greylock environment for you that you can sign up for and we'll take care that it always runs, uh, we'll take care that it's always up to date, um, and uh, we'll, we'll take care that it's always monitored and always running the way you want it to. And with doing that, there is, I think, there, there are some fundamental differences uh, just to the way how you actually use Greylock compared to um, running it yourself there, um, on your, on, in your own environment. One thing that we noticed was that um, before that, people wanted to enrich their logs with GeoIP information. So they had an IP address somewhere in the log, and they wanted to translate that into a into a location, so a longitude, latitude. They wanted to translate that into a city name, maybe get the ASN behind it, get all kinds of metadata um, about that IP address. That's important, especially for security use cases. For PC. So we had an adapter um, that could that could read these GeoIP databases, and it was kind of your task to find out which one to use. We we could read it, but we would never kind of give you the the corresponding database. You know, that was always your thing to figure out because you were running it, you would have to license it, you would have to take care of putting it in the right place, all of it. So now with Greylock Cloud, where this is part of the managed offering, uh, we of course have to look at um, how we can offer this to the customer. And our, our initial um, idea was, well, we can still have the customer take care of this. They'll just upload the file that they already have. And they have to procure that somehow. Um, but it turns out that's kind of messy to, to keep up to date. Um, and also, it's really not the experience that we want for our customers. Like, we want to offer this out of the box. Um, so this is when um, we kind of did what I think our customers did before, which is we kind of went to the market and we tried to figure out what kind of um, IP geolocation, IP information databases are out there. IP info was recommended to me by several people. Um, so I reached out and um, I think the first thing that we noticed was that, that it was really easy to do business. Um, it was immediately someone we could talk to who really understood our problem, who really understood what we needed, who I think immediately understood kind of our uh, our level and how technical we were. So we immediately, we wasted no time. It was an incredibly easy process. Um, and um, this is why now we can offer to our customers, all of our Greylock Cloud customers, if they have an IP address somewhere in their data, IP4 or IP6, um, they can simply instruct Greylock to run uh, lookups for it. And that will then hit the IP info database. So, so we of course build everything out of the box with uh, configuration and infrastructure management. So there's no one going in and downloading that file and putting it somewhere. That's all automated. Um, and the way that the IP info databases are built uh, or APIs are built is so easy to do that, that that was, that was a really easy thing to integrate. And then also because IP info allowed us to, to um, basically download all the information in one, in one database file that would live locally on our, our disk basically. Um, 
that meant that we would not introduce any issues with latency or connections or anything like that because if uh we have people who send us hundreds of thousands of logs per second we can't we, we can't ask your api every single time you know or any other vendor's api we need that file on this that we can cache and that we can access very very rapidly. i think what really stood out for us was that there was um uh we were on a pretty on a pretty tight timeline for for Grailog cloud um, and I think what really stood out for us was, was how fast we got this done and how easy it was. Um, we've had some, um, I think we um, had a little bit of just normal back and forth. And then there is a test thing we could try out and we tried it out and it worked. And then we got it all done. And now this thing just updates, uh, I think, once a day or so. Oh, I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's just it's just what we were looking for. And it was, um, I think there was a risk that things like this become a hurdle in in our product development and and bringing this product uh, uh to the launch date um and um it turns out that that with what we did with ip info it was just it it did not um it did not hold us back in, at all um it just was very quick it's very easy um it's a very good experience overall what i'm hearing is that um we're, we're just getting from the people, from customers, from users. Um, they're just saying it's awesome that, that that's there. You know, they, they know what an, what an IT lookup is. Um, and they say it's awesome that we, we get greater cloud and that stuff is just there and it just works and it's fast and we don't have to think about it. Um, because they, um, uh, they, of course, get a lot of value out of this, right? This is why we're doing it, um, is because they can now use this, this vast database of information to enrich their logs and with that help their teams that um that use Grela. And I think IP info was a very, very important part of that um of accomplishing that goal for us.